Okay, everyone. So we're going to roll up our sleeves. It is Halloween Eve. Yes. Tomorrow's Halloween. 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 My favorite holiday of all time. Always has been. Always will be. Halloween. 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 So I'm going to give you my Halloween ritual today so that you can prepare and be ready for it tomorrow. I don't want to hit you with it last minute. And I know I talked about a little teeny tiny bit in Monday's video. So here we go. So this is what I do every single year. I'm going to build me a great big old bonfire outside. Yes, I am. You don't have to have a big bonfire. You can have a candle. You can have a match, a lighter, whatever you want to do. But you're going to need fire. You're going to need two pieces of paper. Depending on how long your lists are, you might need more. But for this case, we're just going to say two. You get my point. If you need more than two, use as many as you need. Um... On one of those lists, I want you to write down everything you want to manifest in your life. How you want it to look, how you want it to taste, how you want it to feel, everything about it. Set some goals for yourself. I want to lose 30 pounds. I want to lose 100 pounds. I want to lose whatever it may be. You want to find your dream job. A job that brings you that balance that you need. That helps you excel in the gifts that you were given. Something where you can really utilize your best traits. Right? And that's what we need to say in there. We don't want just a job, job of our dreams. We want that job that builds us up. That makes us feel like we're making a difference. That we feel, truly feel empowered. We are using our best strengths and our gifts. Because right there in our own wheelhouse, our zone, that's where we do our best. We feel our best. When we are utilizing the things that we were given at birth to do in this world. So that's what you're looking for. So don't forget to write those things in there, right? Not, not just, I want a job making more money. Because let me tell you, money never solved anything. It certainly will not bring you happiness. It pays the bills, might keep you from stressing a little bit, but it can also cause more problems. So it's not about the money. Although the money will come to take care of you, it's not about the money. It's about what you're doing and how you're doing it and who you're doing it with. You don't want just... A relationship you don't want to find a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband or a wife you want to find a loving balanced relationship hmm. balance is key in everything you want that loving balanced long-lasting relationship or you love each other and the love you have for each other is balanced. Right? You have this bond with each other. You are each other's very best friend. You can tell each other anything. And you have that open communication. Right? Whatever kinks and problems may come at you in life, you handle it together. You're a team. You want that kind of relationship. Not just any relationship. It's where we're, you're going wrong. Don't. Don't say those words. Oh, no. You want to be able to continue improving and continue growing and continue being your best self. So you want to write these things down. All the things you want in your life. How you want to be within yourself and on the outside. Then you want to take another piece of paper. And you're going to write down all the things you do not want anymore. You don't want these certain things coming into your life. You want to get rid of negativity as much as possible. There's always going to be somebody coming around with their little negative vibe. But you don't want negativity infecting your life. Because when it infects it, it, it affects it, right? We don't want that. We want... To not have so many struggles. Mm -hmm. Yes. We want to kind of 
lower those things, right? Please, Lord, let me not struggle so hard with all, whatever it may be. We don't want people coming in abusing us anymore. We want to rid our life of abuse. We want to rid our life of certain stresses. And they're all going to be different for each and every person, right? You don't want anyone coming in, in your life that is throwing you off balance anymore. You want to make sure that you are staying away from negativity in yourself. There's all kinds of things. Um, you're going to take that list and you're going to burn it. That's where the fire comes in. And as that list is burning, you need to truly take the time. And as you're writing them down even, see them leaving your life. See yourself burning that out of your life. And then as it burns, see every single word, every one of those things. See them as real things burning away from you. Now the other list, the things we want to keep, you're going to wrap it in a ribbon or something with love. With every word, you're going to write it with love. Then you're going to roll that up like a scroll and wrap it with something. And you're going to wrap that thing with love. You're going to put it in a safe place to keep all year. And anytime you want, you can go back and read it to remind you yourself of where you were that day. In your mind, body, spirit, soul. Of the things that you want and need. Things that you want to continue going after maintaining and bringing into your life. Make sure you completely wrap it in love. And every day, think about those things. Every day moving forward to next Halloween, do what you can to bring those things in your life. Do those things to maintain the balance within. And you're going to find yourself getting those things on that list. You'll be getting there. Now, let me remind you that it may not be exactly the way you thought when you wrote them down, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad way. Just like New Life November, where I thought I would physically, I thought I'd have a physically completely different life that would be amazing and brilliant and woohoo in a material way more than in, in a physical way, let me just say, than a spiritual way. Well, my life is different. Physically, oh, my daughter and my grandchildren live with me now because they were in an extremely toxic, abusive re situation. Wasn't good for any of them. And I am glad they're here with me now. It's not been easy. But it's better. They are getting better every day. And you do what you got to do. Um, financially, oh my gosh. Whew, with all the extra people, extra expenses, house still isn't done. And it's been hard. But I'm still surviving. I'm still getting there. But the thing that I'm also very grateful for is that spiritually and emotionally, I'm completely a different person than I was at the beginning of this year. I feel so much stronger inside than I once did. I feel like it doesn't matter what comes at me, it's not going to shake my foundation anymore. I've got this. And that is the biggest blessing of all to be able to move forward in that kind of way so just remember that what we think we're going to get we'll be getting those things just not exactly how we imagined a lot of times but um it's going to be beautiful just wait and see life continues to get better when you push for it to get better and you allow better to come into your life. Remember that. You have to allow it to get better. Keep holding on to the past and the old, yucky, horrible, terrible energy. And that's where you're going to stay. When you release that old energy and let it go for good. 
and move forward in a whole new energy and a whole new way, life gets better. Have a great day, everyone. Remember, you have the power to create the life you've always dreamed of. You do. Get outside. Touch the earth. Cleanse your space through your meditations. Remember that this way, the wolf, the raven, and spirit, we are sending you unconditional love. Mwah.